This is the future. Sisters of Parvos is right around the corner, and the main highlight of this update is the Corpus Leeches, now known as the Sisters of Parvos. Also, Void Storm having briefcase weapon rewards. However, these are not all the things coming in the next update. If you haven't watched DevStream 154, Digital Extremes announced that there will be new augments for Warframes. There are four, and they would be for Grendel, Wisp, Zephyr, and Prutea. In this video, we will discuss what each augment do and I will give you tips and tricks on how to make good use of each augment. Make this as a preparation guide for these new augments so you know how they can help your favorite Warframe, and how it can be fun with a bunch of combos or synergies. The simplest augment that will be added during the Sisters of Parvos update is probably the augment for Wisp. It can be fitted in the Exilus mod slot, and what it does is give the Reservoir ability a fourth option to cast all motes simultaneously at a greater energy cost. This is just a mere quality of life improvement to our booty Warframe. Nothing really special here since it only makes casting Reservoir a lot easier and in terms of the Helminth system, Reservoir is not the subsumable ability of Wisp so this doesn't add any special combo with other Warframes. On the other hand, the other three augments are kind of interesting since not only do they provide some good quality of life improvement to their Warframes, but they also provide some good combo using the Helminth system. First off, let's discuss Grendel's new augment for his Nourish ability. So basically, what the new augment does is give his Nourish ability the feature to clear status and gain status immunity for 2 seconds per victim in his stomach. We don't know how this augment will scale, but I'm guessing that it would be affected by duration mods. Somehow, the duration can be increased depending on how much power duration you add to your build and how many enemies you have in your stomach. Status immunity may not sound appealing, but if you take a closer look at how Grendel is built, then you will see that this augment is good for him. It does give Grendel more survivability since damage over time status like bleed, toxin or heat will get purified once you have this augment. Not to mention that he can also provide this buff to his teammates in a wide area when he cast nourish. Think of it as Titania's spellbind but works on Grendel. In terms of Helminth viability, this augment is not only good for support, but does have benefit for the likes of Chroma. You might not have seen me do a Nourish Chroma Helminth combo but I have tried it and it does work well with our resident dragon. Nourish alone can provide good health regeneration for Chroma. I know you can just swap the element type to heat so he can have that health regen but it doesn't function like Nourish wherein you can just spam it as many times as you want. With the augment, Chroma will have status immunity which will further boost his survivability. Next, we got Brutea's dispensary receiving its first augment. This augment can also be equipped in the Exilus mod slot and what it does to dispensary is give it the feature to revive sentinels and has a cooldown of 60 seconds. While it's kind of odd first on what you will do with this augment, because reviving sentinel doesn't make sense at first, the moment I realized that dispensary is Prutea's subsume ability got me thinking that maybe I can abuse this augment while using the Jin Sentinel in my Korra. Or, maybe it's just another crap augment that will get wasted in my mastery rank fodder. Honestly, Reviving Sentinel has its perks especially for those people who love endurance runs in survival missions. But, I don't see it getting some important values overall, unless it does synergy with other revive mods for Sentinel or it's affected by duration mods, and the more duration you have, the lower the cooldown and the more you can use up this augment mod. If this is the case, then we could get some pretty cool interaction with this in our Sentinel. It will be like the Martyr Symbiosis of the Panzer Vulpapilla but only works with Sentinel Companions. The last one is quite interesting, and probably the best in the bunch. Zephyr will be getting an air burst augment that allows the user to gain bonus secondary damage up to 500% for each enemy hit. This 500% bonus secondary weapon damage will be big for Zephyr, and I can't wait to improve my Catch Moon Tornado combo that you have seen earlier in the video. The best part is, air burst is the subsumable ability for Zephyr and you can infuse this in different warframes to form insane combos. However, I'm crossing my fingers for now, since I'm guessing that this augment will somehow scale with range and power strength. I'm guessing that you will need to put some power strength to reach the maximum secondary damage buff of this augment, and this means you should not put overextended in your build. It's probably sacrificing one stat for the other so you can achieve the perfect synergy with this augment. So these are the upcoming augments that are coming before, or maybe during the Sisters of Parvo's update. We will get to know more details about the update in the next dev stream and also, we will get to know more 
all about the new Warframe, don't forget to leave a comment below if you have something to say about these new augments. Take note that these augments are placeholders at the moment, and if you click streams might change it before release but for now, probably you have an idea how to use them, and what know also that Zephyr's air burst augment will be the priority. If you have an idea of how these augments will work, then don't be shy and write it in the comments section below. All comments are appreciated here as long as they are relevant and respectful. Thank you so much for watching, squad leader signing off. This is the future. This is the future.